Hey, what's up? Derek Kirk of Effectistron, and today I'm going to show you how to create this cool kind of like uh, effect that I noticed in the Switch 2 trailer, which looks pretty nice. And uh, it's just a really cool, easy effect to do. So I thought I'd show you how to do that really quick. It's kind of where it goes. I mean, the sound design in this commercial is amazing, but basically it's just this cool, like, you know, effect where it's like, oh, a new color is being applied to that. And that's it. That's the one I'm going to show you. There's a lot of really nice motion design things in here, which uh, if you want to check out the trailer, it's really cool. Uh, it's nice. So inside of C40, you can see as I like scrub through here, we've got our object here. And then as we scrub through, our thing's going to grow and bleep, just I imagine there's like a fun little uh, sound effect there where it's kind of liquidy. Cool. And that's it. That's pretty much all we're doing. It's very straightforward and simple and very easy to create and animate. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've just got a black plastic from my material pack. You can use one from the asset browser if you don't have my material pack, but it's available on Gumroad, hashtag ad. But yes, a little plastic here, very quick drag and drop on there. And all we have to do is just copy and paste that, open that up. And what I wanna do is if you want it to just go on one direction, like you just want it to straight out, you wanna make sure you select the faces of that, uh, that object. But if you want it to go across the entire object, obviously you just throw it over top of the object. For this, we'll just throw it over top of the entire object because it's pretty small anyway. But you would just select the faces and then drag and drop it on there if you wanted to do it more controlled. Okay, so all we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna rename this red displace, cool. Double click that. This is again, just a copy of our plastic that we have. It doesn't matter what's going on in the material. All we need is this displacement value here. And if your material does have displacement, you're just gonna need to add a displacement blender and plug it in on top of that. Displacement, and we're gonna go ahead and add a ramp. Type in C and type in ramp. There we go. Plug that into displacement and also plug that into your overall geometry opacity because we only want the displacement uh, and this material to show up where it's being displaced. OK, so basically that's going to drive both these things. So we're going to take that, throw it on top of our object here, just drag and drop it on there. And of course, we need to change the color of this to be that kind of fun, kind of pinkish red. There we go. And you can see already kind of how that's being applied. And if we come in here and just, you know, move our knot around, you can see how we can easily control the amount that this is coming through. Just like that. Uh, and again, so if you want it to be black on this side and you want it to start in the middle, you would just do it like that. Boom instantly and if you're not getting the displacement that you want from this or whatever because automatic displacement's not on or you don't have the geometry make sure you watch the tutorial i have on redshift displacement and how it works but also you can add a render tag on here redshift object tag and turn on the displacement and tessellation there just to kind of help smooth it out a little bit if you need to and that'll be fine but now all we have to do is kind of add that organicness in here. Now you could throw in a max on noise and a color layer and blend them together to have maximum control. You could like create them to go like this, like all kinds of stuff, right? And the possibilities are endless, but for simplicity's sake, let's just go ahead and say 0.02 for the noise. And then for the frequency, we're gonna say two. And voila, we have this nice little natural looking noise and all we gotta do is grab these knots and slide them all the way to the edge we could make them step but i think it does help to have that little tiny couple pixels of that but there you go so then to animate this we would just come in here and grab this knot and when you move it make sure you hit that knot position before you grab the other one because it's kind of hard to grab them afterwards and then keyframe that go to wherever you want them to be spread out and then grab that knot slide it all the way to the edge and the same with that slide it to the edge Keyframe that, keyframe that, boom. And there we go. So now we have it animate from there to wherever. There you go. And if you want to adjust where it is from the center, obviously um, you would just move its starting point. So like, you know, you would have it if you want it to be more like down here on this end, you would slide it down, right? If you want it to be more on this end, you would slide it down that way. And it's all just based on your UV maps and whatever, but there you go. You can, so you can control that very quickly and easily and then just keyframe those knots moving. And uh, that's it. And that is how you can do it. A little bit of that noise is nice to do that. But there you go. That is how you can do that cool little effect very quickly and easily inside of C40 and Redshift. If you like that quick kind of stuff, let me know. There's a lot of cool stuff in that trailer. You should check it out. Um, yeah.
Leave a like and subscribe if you want more quick tips and see you next time.